David, tomorrow, striking teachers from Beverly, Gloucester, and Marblehead will rally at the State House. Union members have been out of the classroom and on the picket lines now for more than a week. And as WBZ's Brandon Truitt tells us, making up the days they're missing now could cause problems later for students and their families. Each of these communities reports some progress today, but there's little to show for more than a week of missed classes. And for some parents, the novelty is wearing off. The first thing is I have to go to work. Yeah. So now I stay home the whole week to watching my son. A new week brings similar challenges. Thousands of families in three North Shore communities are once again making plans for another day of canceled classes. At the beginning, it was like kind of like, you know, how long is this going to last? But now that it, it, it keeps going, it's kind of a... Uh... Run its course. I'm hoping it ends soon. Tuesday will mark day seven of no school in Beverly. On Monday, the school committee signaled those missed days will have to be made up, and they're considering canceling February or April vacation week, delaying graduation or Saturday school to do it, something seventh grader Devlin Walsh hopes doesn't happen. If it's on the weekends, then I probably wouldn't like it because, like, it would interfere with my sports and then, like, it would change our schedules. Down in Marblehead, both sides met face to face today for the first time as students there are set to miss day six. Every paraprofessional and tutor needs a living wage. The Gloucester School Committee reported significant progress Monday, but not enough to close a deal. Each union is taking on tens of thousands of dollars in daily fines with no end in sight. We need our kids to go back to school yeah. soon, as soon as possible. They can stay home. Salaries remain a sticking point in these negotiations. Teachers from all of these communities will gather together to rally at the State House on Tuesday. In Beverly, Brandon True at WBZ News.